So hi there guys and welcome back to Boat McCrill. Well, we are back in here in the boat again. It's a couple of degrees plus at the moment. And after having the fan in here, I'm closer to 20 degrees. What I'm working on right now is to put in new supports for the uh, cabin floor. I've done a couple of small things. I've uh, sanded off uh, the areas. Here are the supports and I've drilled a couple of holes in those. I'm going to use four and a half millimeters self-tapping screws, but uh, I'm going to uh, pre-drill this and I will also pre-drill, when I put this in place, I will also help drill with a three millimeter drill just to get a little pilot hole. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is just mix up the uh, thick epoxy that I'm going to glue this in with. I already uh, washed these off with acetone and the same with the contact areas and I'm going to try to do this quite fast just to, to keep the temperature in here. I also have my dehumidifier de de <laughs> in here and I got about 60% 60, 60 humidity in here right now and at the moment 17.7 degrees celsius on the plus side so let's do this as usually uh, when i'm doing stuff like this with epoxy i'm using Niels malmgren epoxy and in this case is the uh, regular 275 uh, with the, its hardener uh, and uh, i get that from epoxy online so if you need uh, great stuff like this here in sweden uh, check out the link down below to epoxy.online uh, and uh, buy from them Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to put silica in here, and I'm in this case I'm using a uh, 406 from West System. Uh, most of the time I'm using the Niels Malgren uh, Tix, but uh, I think it's called Tix 150 or something like that. Uh, I forgot that at home, but I, also, but I also have a couple of other containers of stuff uh, hanging around. So in this case I will use that. It's it's uh, it's fumed silica or, or stuff like that, but it's. Uh, it's just a thickener and, and a, a tixotropic uh, uh, agent, so that the uh, uh, so that the epoxy is, is getting thicker and more gluier. I also had these uh, two containers that I have. I don't have them here. I have them in, them in my car. Uh, I had them in heat before, so they are uh, quite. They are not cold, so they are reacting pretty fast. That's kind of important when you are working with epoxy that you keep up the temperatures. So the curing process isn't uh, uh, slacking off or going down. When I'm working with uh, this uh, silica, I'm al always using uh, a mask. And that's because the silica is not very good for your lungs. I kind of like this consistency. It's a uh, little bit like what you call it peanut butter. Usually, when you talk peanut butter, it's when you use fairing, but uh, in this case, yeah, it's not really sticky. Now I'm just gonna start applying this to the surfaces here. Quite perfectly uh, amount of uh, thick epoxy that I made up.
So, well then guys, uh, I'm sorry for this short one. That's all I had time to do this week because I have had too much other stuff to do. But at least I got the, uh, to the free supports put in place, glued and screwed. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, next week, I, during the next week, I can prep this area in here. There's a little bit more of sanding to do and then some painting. Depends a little bit on the temperatures. Uh, if it's get too cold again, uh, I'm going to be just doing something else. Uh, see what I have on in store. But uh, if you like what I'm doing here on Boat McGrill, uh, please give me a little thumbs up. Hit the subscription button down on the right side and of course ho put the notification bell on all so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Uh, as soon as the temperature is rising again, it's going to be way more uh, content. We're going to keep on working inside here in the boat, uh, keep on building. Uh, as soon as the floor, as soon as the cabin sole is back in here again, we can start build up all of these areas here. I'm gonna do some insulation, uh, painting, and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna re uh, finish up uh, some of the repairs that we did last summer, and so on. So keep on with me, uh, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.